Assalamu alaikum. Today we'll talk about the reflex arc or the reflex action, which is the unit of function in the nervous system. So now I'm going to draw a simple diagram that shows the whole process of the reflex action. So yeah, that's it. Let's say that this fingertip is exposed to a stimulus, which is, for example, a candle flame. So, first of all, the receptor here or the sensory organ feels the heat. So, it receives this stimulus from that part and then it transmits it through the nerve fibers till it goes to the dorsal root of the vertebra and let's say that it may meet another sensory cell which transmits the impulse till it reaches the gray matter. Now, it reaches the gray matter, so it goes upwards to the brain, and then it goes downwards again with the proper response that the brain gave, all of this through the gray matter, then it goes back again through the motor neuron, and it moves through the nerve fiber till it reaches the muscle, of the finger which is finally stimulated with the proper response telling the finger to move away from the candle uh, flame. So this is how the reflex action works. From this we can conclude that in most of the cases of the reflex action there are five elements. First we have the receptor or the sensory organ, then we have the sensory neuron through which the um, stimulus moves, then we can meet a connector or an intermediate cell or neuron like that one, then we have a motor neuron which transmits the proper response from the brain through the gray matter and then goes through the ventral root and then through the final element which is the uh, responding organ which is here the muscle. So that was the reflex action. Hope it was clear for you. Until the next time, I thank you for watching and see you.